Now then, my friends, in today's vlog, boy, have I got a treat for you, for me, actually, because I'm off to the West Midlands, to Wolverhampton, I think it's in Wolverhampton, for fish and chips. But wait, stop right there. Not fish and chips again. These are different fish and chips, my friends, because the West Midlands have battered orange chips. I i know i thought that when i heard it and i looked at them i thought wow they literally are very very orange uh so we're gonna head over there right now um I've, now i've had fish and chips everywhere else haven't I? i've done scotland i've done wales i've done cornwall i've done yorkshire i've done america i've never been to the west midlands and fish and chips have always been fish and chips it's either cod and chips haddock and chips but never something like this it's a different spin isn't it battered orange chips so we're off to a place called majors which is near wolverhampton i believe bilson or something yeah i'll pop it in the description down below um and it's going to be different we're going to mark it out of 10 i want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well i'll try and explain as much as i can uh, to how they taste so you've got an idea of it if you're new to the channel by the way do hit the subscribe button click that little bell for notifications of when i upload new videos now Without further ado, my friends, let's go. A few people saying to me when are you going to get back on a plane again and head off and go overseas um it is on the cards i am going to go different places australia and new zealand are 100 percent on the cards uh, for next year uh, i need you to help me out help me out help me out uh, help me out here though if you do live uh, over in australia and new zealand uh, i've had mixed reviews about what your fish and chips are like um in australia and new zealand some some of you have said uh they're not very good some of you have said they're really good just reiterate it let me know anybody from australia and new zealand what are your fish and chips like over there let me know because i will be trying some obviously when i go over there um before i do that though i have to say i'm thoroughly enjoying going around the uk and visiting local businesses and even doing a few spoons etc and uh, visiting different towns and i'm off to off now to to wolverhampton etc i'm loving it and uh, i've got a little plan in my head as well for all the uh, subscribers out there who subscribe to me because of this electric car and there are I think over near over 30,000 people have subscribed to me because of this electric car because of the videos so I'm thinking of driving over to Northern Ireland doing a few reviews there obviously obviously it's not a boat I'll do it I get a ferry over there uh, and then um, driving from Northern Ireland right down into the Republic of Ireland going visiting all of Ireland in this car and driving around um, and seeing what the charge points and the charging infrastructure is like over there uh, and sampling different fish and chip places uh, also different breakfast places doing some lunchtime uh, food as well uh, and then popping back over here and also i'm thinking of uh, going into europe with it as well so traveling into france and to belgium and switzerland uh, and seeing what their charging network's like as well and also um I believe the, the the Netherlands is it that have got uh, the best charging network. I'm going to go and do my research, but drive over in in Europe because I think I think it'd be fun. And if I could take you guys with me to keep me company, I think I think that would be a great trip, sampling different food along the way. Because not all of you are like the electric car videos, but it's not just really about that. It's about seeing the scenery and sampling the food. So I am thoroughly thoroughly enjoying uh doing these uh trips around before we head on to uh please don't get right at my backside it is 70. it's 70. i'm doing 70. that's it back off i've got a little honda behind me 
that's literally just gone right up my backside. I mean, what is the matter with people? Anyway, on that bombshell, my friends, onwards. <laughs> Right, I think we're in Bilston. It's called Bilston. It's is it Wolverhampton? Is it like a a subsidiary of Wolverhampton? A suburb? Sorry, not subsidiary. A suburb of Wolverhampton. Uh, if it is, hey, I tell you what, I'll have to keep an eye out. Dudley there, Dudley. Uh, where am I going here? I'm going up here. One second. Bear with me. Um, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for Phil and Janice. But I tell you what, they'd be proud of me, wouldn't they? Because I'm trying local food. <laughs> I'm going for the orange chips, orange battered chips. Right, let's find out where, uh, oh, bus lane cameras, what a surprise. Let's try and find out uh, somewhere to park. Yeah, Bilston, that's where I am. Is it part of Wolverhampton? Oh, I don't know, let's have a, find somewhere to park, hang on. Right, parking, there we go, come on. Onwards. Right, I think, let me turn this milk float off. I think I'm allowed to park here for an hour. So that should give me enough time because it says it's not too far from here. I think it's free for an hour. There's cameras everywhere. Um, we'll risk it. Come on, let's go and get these orange battered chips. I can't wait. Right, let's go and find this place. The major fish and chip shop, I think it's called. Uh, apparently it's the best one for your orange fish and chips. Where are we? Let's have a look. Uh, the major fish restaurant. So uh, looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to listening to some accents as well. So come on, are you all right? Let's go and get some orange fish and chips. Right? Uh, was that more Liverpool? Anyway, I won't try it again. Come on, onwards. <laughs> Wait a minute, look at this. <laughs> well, say hello then. Well, we've got a chip shop there, Chaplin's Fish and Chips, but that's not the one though, is it? That's not the one. Okay, we've got two, two ladies here who wants to be on the video, right? And I've said, that's fine, because you're from round here and you can do the accent. Can you say, uh, hello, you're all right, and welcome to, where are we, Bilston, uh, and, and gonna try the fish and chips. So here we go then, what's your name? Autumn. So can you say, hello, welcome to Bilston? Welcome to Bilston, Mush, come have some fish and chips, Mush. <laughs> mush? Yeah. Is it Mush, is that yeah. what you're calling it? We call it? Mush or or cock or cocker. Cock, cock or cocker or mush? Cock, cock's a bloke, cocker's a girl, and then mush. Cock, cock and musher. There we go, <laughs> cock, cock and musher, there we go. <laughs> I like it already, thank you. <laughs> Hi, 
Right, here we are at Major's famous fish and chip shop. We're going to go in there now for the orange buttered chips. Uh, the fish, some mushy peas and some curry sauce. Uh, what, look, people are so friendly around here. I'm liking it already. Let's get in there. Right, my friends, I've got the fish and chips here, the uh, orange battered chips. That's all they do apparently, just the orange battered chips. Um, it's 60p extra to eat in. Uh, it came to £14.10 in total for the uh, large cod chips, uh, mushy peas and a curry sauce and a tin of Diet Coke. So before we go any further, take a closer look, my friends. Right, so there you go. I'll uh, bend this box back so you can actually see what I'm eating here. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Right, so first things first, we've got proper cutlery. It's going for a little bit of vinegar on there on the chips. A little bit of salt on there as well. Um, let's, go in for it. let's go in for a chip first because that's really what we've come for, haven't we? We've come for the orange battered chips. Uh, so there you go, you can see that. The orange batter on there. Now I've never... Crunchy. You've got a double crunchiness to it. You've got the crispy and crunchy. You've got the crispy outer. And then the crunch of the batter on the outside. But look how white and fluffy that is on the inside compared to the outer. It sort of accentuates the potato on the end. Wow, they are nice. Wow. They are very nice. Right. Let's go in for the cod. Um, nice bit of, wow. No, let's take that batter off. That's gonna be a bit soft because of the, it's on top of the chip there. But the top of it is very crunchy. Um, but just look at that. No skin on the fish. Wow. Nice meaty, meaty fish. Wow. Very flaky and meaty. We're going for the um, mushy peas first. A little bit greener than normal, but you've got your orange and your green. It's, it's a very colour, most colourful fish and chips I've had. To be fair though, nice mushy peas. Let's take a chip and dig into the curry sauce here. Wow. Oh, woo. That is. Bloody hell. That is some of the spiciest curry sauce I've had. Woo. These chips though, I mean look at how orange that one is. Absolute, it's crazy. 
crispy and crunchy. You get like double the the crisp, crispy and crunchy. Wow! But look how fluffy and white they are on the inside. Fantastic, right? I tell you what. They're good. I'll eat these and then we'll mark them out of 10, but the batter is very crispy on the fish on the top. The only issue is with putting the fish on top of the chips is it does make the bottom of the batter go a little bit soggy, but top very crispy. But these chips, I mean, look at that. Wow. Right. Wow, they are excellent. Look at that. <laughs> I'll eat these, come back to you and we'll walk about a 10. See you guys in a minute. Right, I've got to tell you, these are absolutely fantastic. I mean, the chips are totally, totally different to anything that I've ever tasted before in any fish and chip shop. Um, I'm really enjoying it. So rather than take any more angles and keep doing different shots, uh, I'm going to eat the rest of this, enjoy it, uh, and then I'll meet you back at the car. And we'll sum it up, mark it out of 10, and go over it. But wow, these chips are just amazing. Really enjoying it. So I'll see you back at the car. Mm. Right, let's get down to business then. Them chips were amazing. They were, I've never tasted chips like that in my entire life. Um, and I'm like 52 uh, and a little bit, nearly 53. Um, it was like a double bubble because you got the crisp and the crunch. So you'd got the, the, the the crispy outer bit and the crunch of the extra orangey batter on the outside of it then on the inside you've got the fluffiness and the whiteness of the potato and it seemed to be even whiter than normal chips but I think that's probably because of the amount of how orange they were um, thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed them the chips were amazing uh, fish uh, the batter on the fish was great uh, meaty I have to say the, the fish was very very meaty um, and the batter on the fish was superb um, the, the the curry sauce and the mushy peas the mushy peas I'm gonna go nice with mushy peas curry sauce very spicy um, that's the spiciest curry sauce I've had it literally wow yeah blew you away um all in all um cost wise cost wise was not the cheapest that i've had i'm just trying to find out it was 14 pound odd was it i think 14 pounds 10. um so not the cheapest fish and chips i've had um if anything i would say slightly greasy 
slightly green and you're gonna say I can eat your don't start typing yet what do you expect it's fish and chips yeah but you can you can also have a little bit more some are more greasy than others it depends on how hot the oil is so there we go before you start at your keyboards um, all in all fantastic thoroughly enjoyed the chips some of the best chips I've had um, I'm gonna go uh, a solid 9.8 for them fish and chips bang on there we go uh, so i'll put all the details for the fish and chip shop it's the famous one uh, in uh, I, don't even, I keep forgetting where i am bilston yeah bilston there we go majors fish and chip shop in bilston i'll put their details in the description down below don't forget if you are new to the channel please do hit the subscribe button it is free and lots of content coming your way that's all from me today uh, i'm gonna head back up to north now so we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye